too much water. I give this New England winter a 7 out of 10. Hello and welcome to the first Retro TLDR for Chris the Nerd's Game Review number 82, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the Nintendo 3DS. For those of you who don't know what that means, I'm sorry, I mean it's not that hard. Uh, clearly I'm doing TLDRs for older game reviews that I've done. It's not that hard, people. The first number chronologically is an 83. That doesn't make any sense. Jesus. With that said, let us begin. Everybody remembers Pokemon's third generation, except me. Yeah, I never played it. It came out at a time when I was in like a rebellious phase where I just stopped playing Pokemon. In fact, my life in correlation with the Pokemon series is rather interesting. It's like I had a hardcore coke habit. When I was a kid, I was like, Yeah, Pokemon, motherfucking Blastoise. You know, like the average eight-year-old. Then when I was a preteen, I stopped playing Pokemon because I almost felt like I was too good for it. Like, nah, I'm too cool for this Pokemon stuff. You children can watch Pokemon. I'm gonna watch Naruto like an adult. It's like I traded cocaine for LSD. Then when I got older, I relapsed. Hard. It's like I went back to cocaine, but now it was weird because I knew terms and ways of playing that only a creepy person would know. Yo, know, female Jigglypuff's only got like a 60% chance of passing Friend Guard down to an Igglybuff through breeding. It's like, come on, man, I just want a Wigglytuff with Friend Guard. Oh, yeah, Wigglytuff, Friend Guard. And that brings us to the latest shot in the arm from the Pokemon Company, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, because A comes before O, and blue is my favorite color, as evidenced by the fact that I am wearing a purple shirt. This game's mute boy who fights other people's pets for money and cheap plastic pins is named Chris. What a coincidence. Chris must put a stop to the evil Team Aqua, who are trying to use the legendary Pokemon Kyogre to flood the Earth. Wow. Wait. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Why is that so stupid? Most everybody in Team Aqua uses Mighty Ennis. There's like three people in the entirety of Team Aqua who even use water Pokemon in the first place. And they don't even use varied water Pokemon. They use like Sharpedos. What are you gonna do when the world is flooded, Archie? You just gonna chill with this thing's dorsal fin up your ass while you wait for the water to evaporate? You dick. Of course, if saving the world isn't your style, there are other things you can do. For example, you can catalog every living creature in the country for a buffoon who gets attacked every time he goes outside. Or you can do the more important thing, put together a team of six, beat the Elite Four, and become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Wait. Oh, silly me. That's from my Meth Addiction series. My bad. You'll need to put together a pretty awesome team of six if you want to have a fair shot of winning. I'm like 95% sure I was able to do that myself. This is my Elite Four stomping plastic pin earning team of six. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Dude looks like a lady. Crotch Rudder. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Shiny Treasure Map. And... Bird. Pretty fucking pro. Overall, I'd say this game is fun. Catching Pokemon is as addicting now as it always has been. It's also fun to play a generation of Pokemon games that I never played when I was a kid. The story is a little bit of a step down, considering the last two games were more in-depth and complex, but what's here is serviceable. I would give it the Chris the Nerd seal of approval. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel. There was a very nice commenter on one of these other videos who said that I deserve more views, and I wholeheartedly agree with him. If you're in the mood for subscribing and following other things, you should also follow me on Twitter at ChrisTheNerd92, or check out my website ChrisTheNerd92.com. If you'd like to read my full review of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, you can check it out at geekvision.tv. The link will be in the description. For those of you who can't get enough Pokemon videos, you should watch this video from fellow Geek Visionary and Pokecoke relapser Il Nej. It's a Hoenn Poke rap that he released to celebrate the release of this game, and it's pretty fucking awesome, you should watch it.